Hey there once again, this is Yaship777 of A Mighty One Ministry. I'm making this video for the praise, honor, and glory of Yahushua HaMashiach. This is Jesus Christ in Hebrew. And this video today, I'm going to be talking about just uh, some things that I've seen and no one has influenced me to make this video, not Elizabeth, Elijah, or anyone else. This is just a video I feel led to make by, by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. And this, uh, this video is going to be about a certain individual out there, saved by Jesus' blood, YouTube user, Roger. And his lies, as he continually twists the truth, just like his father the devil. And I just wanted to thank you, Roger, for continuing, continuing to to prove that you are a spawn of the devil. You do your deeds. You do the deeds of your father the devil. What does the devil do? He takes things out of context and he twists the truth so that he can gather souls unto himself. But today, I rebuke you, Roger, in the name of you, Shuaha Mashiach. For this is what you have done. This is what you have done as you have taken the truth you take what I've said and you twist it to to make it seem like that in my ministry that I'm saying that a person must accept Elizabeth Elijah for her salvation which is complete nonsense complete nonsense you take what I said in a video and you twist it you chop it up and here here's the uh, the full part of that video right here And again, this is Apostle and Prophet Elizabeth Sherry Elijah Nicomiah. And she is the one uh, used by Almighty God to give birth to the Almighty One Ministry. And for those of you who are slandering her, sending her death spirits, doing your hoodoo and voodoo and your, your foolish uh, contract with Satan for, your li for her life, you need to see the face of the one that you are doing this to. And you need to to uh, to, add, to answer this question which Yeshua asks. He says, "Is this the face of an evil person? Is this the face of an evil person?" For those of you who say that there is not the glory of Yeshua on her face, realize that your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life, meaning that your next home will be hell. So as you can see. It is complete nonsense what Roger has proposed here, what he has done here, saying that that we in a mighty one ministry claim that one must accept Elizabeth Elijah for salvation. That is complete nonsense. No. But what did Yahushua HaMashiach himself say in the scriptures? He said in Matthew chapter 10 verse 40, He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Yeshua, Jesus, said that if a person does not receive one of his own, then they are denying God Almighty. That is what the scriptures say. So I rebuke you, Roger, in the name of you, Shua HaMashiach, and you're twisting your serpentine ways. I bind and break all your mind control and my manipulation, and you can have your curses back into your own bosom sevenfold in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. You might be able to deceive a man or a woman, but you cannot deceive God Almighty, Yahweh of hosts. You cannot deceive the lion from the tribe of Judah. You're only heaping wrath upon yourself. That is the reward that you shall receive when Yahushua HaMashiach comes back. And you are a liar, and your lies have been exposed. It is not really about who Elizabeth Elijah is. It is about Yahweh God and His purpose that He works in and through her. He uses her to speak forth His words for this end time generation. And you, Roger, would deny this generation from hearing the truth? You are a liar and a blasphemer. 
You are a warlock Satanist. Roger, you never explained why you were baptized in black. does. He serves and takes orders from Pastor George C. of the Nehemiah Center to continue to assassinate Elizabeth Elijah's reputation. She is not just my spiritual mother who gives me the love of a mother I never had. She is also my pastor, friend, and a prophet of Yah. None of you know her as all of us from a Mighty Wind Ministries that labor by her side do. If Roger is a Christian, or any of these enemies of Elizabeth Elijah, then why do they not rejoice that a Mighty Wind Ministries has anointed men and women who preach the gospel of salvation in 25 languages? Ask yourself, what are these enemies doing except on YouTube to try and silence a ministry prophet that warns, Repent, live holy, or you will be in the Great Tribulation and will suffer greatly. If you take the mark of the beast, your soul will be damned. Your deeds are being shouted from the housetops and you will only continue to be exposed by the light from heaven by the right hand of Almighty God Yahweh and so you see so you see it is not about Elizabeth Elijah she is but the vessel of clay we call her Mama Aram she is our spiritual mother that does not mean that we worship her that is not that is foolishness and nonsense you are of your father the devil, Roger. The devil in the wilderness took the word of God, twisted it, took it out of context, and sought to use it as a weapon against Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And Yahushua said that the, that the servant is not greater than the master. So, if they did it to him, then they shall surely do it to his own. And that is what you are doing. And I just want to thank you, Roger. I want to thank you for continuing to expose yourself as the reprobate spawn of the devil that you are. Your unclean reprobate soul shall not get away with taking up the word of God and twisting it and trying to use it as a dagger to stab in our backs. We send your weapons sevenfold back unto you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. You know exactly what you're doing, Roger. You've been exposed. Yahweh God tells, tells his people about those who come, wolves in sheep's clothing. He tells us about such individuals as yourself because our God loves us. He does, not, he does not want us to be devoured, to be betrayed, to be deceived. The good shepherd has a rod of wrath. He does not carry it in vain. You think it's a joke? You think it's a joke? You have not a clue what awaits you, Roger. You have not a clue. Your father the devil does. Your father the devil has deceived you. But you have believed his lies. You honestly think that you can overthrow the throne of Almighty God, Yahweh? Have you not heard, have you not read, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess unto God the Father for his glory, that his only begotten Son, Yahushua, is Lord and Savior, and there is none other. There is none other. You, Roger, you, Roger, are a liar, a slanderer. The Word of God has exposed you. The reason, you know, the reason why you, you make this about Elizabeth Elijah or, you know, those in Almighty Wind Ministry is because you cannot handle the conviction, the holiness on this ministry, which exposes you and your dark deeds. So you, instead of really taking it to, to Almighty God, Yahweh, you try to destroy His servants. But think not that you will win, because we have the resurrection power in the name and through the blood and the body of Yeshua Mashiach. And the scriptures say that the wicked are as ashes beneath the feet of the righteous. Because Yahweh God is with us, and if He be for us, who can be against us? You are as chaff in the wind, Roger. You have sown to the wind, and you shall reap a mighty whirlwind of fiery wrath from Almighty God Yahweh. He is not mocked. He is not mocked. For some reason you think that He can be mocked. You shall soon surely find out that this is not so. 
So I just wanted to say to everybody out there on the YouTube community to beware of such individuals such as Roger, this saved by Jesus' blood, who comes not with the Holy Spirit, but with the Spirit of Antichrist. I just wanted to say to you all to beware of such individuals. Test their fruit. Does it, does it line up with the Word of God? Do they honor? Do they honor Abba Yahweh Most High with their actions? Do they truly walk in holiness? Test these people. And you will find out that this Roger is a liar. You will find out that this Roger is of the Antichrist spirit. And just because someone comes in the name of Jesus Christ does not mean that they are truly honoring the only begotten Son of God. The devil comes as an angel of light, and so do his children, seeking to devour whom they may for the glory of their, of their father, the devil. But you see, the scriptures have exposed their fruit as rotten and corrupt. They have chosen darkness over light. Lightness and darkness cannot mix. And so these people, such as Roger, say that they stand for truth and for righteousness. But that's a lie. Because how can they, how can they truly stand for the truth when they go against Almighty God Yahweh's own ministry, a mighty wind, which he is using to lead souls to Yahushua HaMashiach, not to Elizabeth Elijah? How can, how can these people say that they are of the light when they seek to destroy a mighty wind ministry which is being used by God to warn this last end time generation to repent to repent before the great tribulation to repent to walk in holiness to obey the Ten Commandments how is it evil to obey the Ten Commandments Yeshua HaMashiach said if you love me you will obey me so these people you cannot trust them. You cannot trust these vile ones out there, such as the Unity Cult Gathering, this pastor, George C., and his reprobate congregation, such as Rahab the Jericonite, such as Violet Kitty, who I call Vile Kitty. We have proven that she is not a Christian. Does this look like a born-again Christian to you? I am the daughter of the Most High. He has declared me pure and blameless, a spotless bride. He bestowed upon me many jewels, declaring me as his own. Oh, really? How is that so when you seek to defile Yahweh God's Amidwin ministry? You are of the bride of Satan. The Most High that you call out to is none other than the devil himself. Here is more of this rabid kitty's vile fruit in which she shows herself as holy. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. I am the daughter of the Most High. You cannot trust these people. This crossway OKC, so he's so crisscrossed in his own mind, you know, with insanity and voodoo. Jar of Clay 9 proved in her video series about Crossway OKC that he is doing voodoo against Elizabeth Elijah in plain sight, as I showed you in pictures. Gurk 2 Lee, I have proven as a shaman with his own words written on his channel. Elizabeth Elijah rebuked him. Then he removed the evidence, not because he repented, but to hide the truth. We at a Mighty Wind Ministry do not lie. Elizabeth warns us we have to prove what we say. Here's the proof Gurk 2 doesn't want you to see. Yahweh says to pay no heed to the enemy other than to rebuke them. And that is what we are doing. That is what a mighty ministry is doing. We are rebuking these enemies' lies. For truly, we love you enough to expose these people under the anointing, to show you that these people, they're not coming to you with true love. The devil is 
opposite of the truth. When his children say that they love you, it is really hate. For if a person truly loved you, they would warn you to repent of, their, of your sins. They would warn you to walk in holiness because without holiness, no man can see the face of Abba Yahweh. If they truly loved you, they would tell you that hell is forever and those who die in their sins will go to hell. We at Almighty Way Ministry tell you you must repent. If you want to go to heaven, you must walk in holiness. You must accept Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior of your life. You must stop leaning over the edge of hell to see how far you can get without falling in. Do not do these things. We warn you with the love of Yahushua HaMashiach to repent. To repent. Why, why would you want to spend eternity cut off, separated, in the darkness from Almighty God Yahweh who loved, who loved you so much that He sent His only begotten Son to die for you. In John 3.16, please read it. Please. And again, this saved by Jesus' blood. You know, it's so easy to make up a YouTube username and to hide behind a mask. It's so easy to do this. But unto God, everything is known. His eyes search to and fro in this earth, and he knows the intents and the motives in each individual's heart. He is not deceived. He is not deceived. He hears all. He knows all. He is infinite in power, almighty in wisdom and grace. He is almighty not, in, not only in love, but also in war. He is a God of balance. Yushua HaMashiach is coming back with fire in his eyes with the teeth of a lion to devour those who blaspheme the throne of God Almighty. Choose this day which God you will serve. If you want to choose and ser choose to serve Satan, go ahead. It is your choice. You will reap everlasting damnation and hell fire. If you choose to serve Yahushua HaMashiach, you will experience His love, His grace, His freedom, and forever in heaven you will abide with him. Why would you want to turn that down? Only insanity could cause somebody to do such a thing. And that is what happens to those who come against the Mighty Wind Ministry. The spirit of insanity comes upon them. For what happens when you go against God Almighty? When you go against wisdom? What's the opposite of wisdom? Chaos, insanity, confusion. That is what happens to those who turn their back on wisdom. And I'm not saying that a mighty one ministry is God. So do not twist those words, Roger, whom I rebuke in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I'm simply saying that if you choose to deny the holy prophecies that are spoken forth through Elizabeth Elijah for Yahweh's glory alone, then you shall reap corruption. Think not that God is mocked. And so, Abba Yahweh, I just come to you in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, not for my own glory, not for the glory of Elizabeth Elijah, not for the glory of any creature, but I come only to exalt your holy and precious name and to thank you for the love that you have demonstrated at the cross, Abba Yahweh, as you sent your only begotten Son to die, to be crucified between two thieves. He was treated worse than them, Abba Yahweh. Truly, those, those two were criminals, but Yahushua was innocent. He died, Abba Yahweh, for, for my sins. He died for the sins of mankind so that we could have forgiveness, so that we could have life everlasting, which comes through His precious shed blood. It is only His blood that washes away our sins, Abba Yahweh. I just thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for, for your mercy and your grace. You do not want your, your sheep and your lambs to be deceived, to be destroyed, to be devoured. And you have shown that this saved by Jesus' blood is truly a blasphemer, Abba Yahweh. He does not come in the name of your son. He comes in the name of the Antichrist, Abba Yahweh. Yeshua, your son said, take heed, beware. Many shall come in my name. But Yeshua, you said not to follow these evil ones. You said not to follow these wolves in sheep's clothing. And I just thank you, beloved Yeshua. 
I pray that you will please exalt your name and that you will continue to expose these evil ones for the sake of your holy name. And I thank you, Father. I thank you for your protection and your mercy and your grace. I thank you, Father, that, that these evil ones will not get away with what they are doing. I pray, Father, that you will destroy the foundations upon which they stand. It's nothing but sand. I pray, Father, that you'll send a mighty tempest to beat upon them, Abba Yahweh. A mighty tempest to, to continue to rip their masks off, Abba Yahweh. And I pray that you bring great, great, great conviction upon the people, Abba Yahweh. Those who have watched what has been going on as the people, the enemies rise up and slander your ministry, Almighty One. I pray you bring conviction upon those ones who have done nothing but sit on the fence, Abba Yahweh. I pray they'll wake up. They'll wake up and defend the truth. Abba Yahweh, for if they do not defend your ministry, how can they say they love you, Abba Yahweh, Yeshua, precious Ruach HaKadosh? How can they say that they do? Truly the words that come out of their mouths for those individuals who do these things, their words are nothing but vanity. They draw nigh to you with their mouths, but in their hearts they are hypocrites. Please, Father, convict them. I pray they will wake up for those that can repent. For those that have not crossed the bloodline of Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray they will repent, Abba Yahweh. Please, Father, I pray that you please hear this prayer, not for my name's sake, for I don't want any recognition. I just come seeking that your name be magnified, because you are a God who cannot lie. Not one jot or tittle of your word shall pass away, but all shall be fulfilled. And I thank you, beloved Yeshua, for your truth, for salvation, which, com which comes only through you. I do thank you for raising up Elizabeth Elijah in these end times. Thank you for raising her up and using her as a chosen vessel to warn us, Abba Yahweh, to warn us to repent. You've done this in the times of old. This is not a new thing. You, you chose Isaiah. You chose Jeremiah. You chose Deborah. You chose Jonah. You chose the Apostle Paul. Many others, many other righteous ones you've chosen in their times to warn the generation that they were in to repent, Abba Yahweh. Just like how we do not bow down to Isaiah and the prophets of old, we do not bow down to Elizabeth Elijah. These lies this Roger blasphemer comes up with are, are just pure nonsense, Abba Yahweh. Pure nonsense. And I pray, Father, that you will demonstrate the Deuteronomy 28 curses in the earth upon these vile ones such as this Roger. She will take vengeance, Abba Yahweh. Just like how the widow woman, how she came to that judge, how Yeshua talked about in the parable, and she pled with that, with that judge every day to take vengeance on her adversary. I do the same unto you, Abi Yahweh. Please take vengeance on these evil ones. And I thank you, Abi Yahweh, that, that you hear your children because we come washed in the shed blood of you, Shua HaMashiach, the Passover lamb. I just thank you, Father. I commit all these things into your hands. I just pray that, that your will be accomplished. So I give you all praise, honor, and glory, Abi Yahweh. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name, Amen. If anyone knows more about this man Roger, please contact me. He hides behind a username and a monitor because he is a coward. He never reveals his name, and yet he constantly slanders Elizabeth Elijah's name. O oh, Abba Yahweh, we ask you in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach to please raise up someone to write us and let us know what Roger does not want us to know. He is the criminal, not Elizabeth. Amen.